So to be honest with you, I'm having a lot of fun just taking my care package book and just flipping to a random page. So let's do one more. Okay, so I flipped to uh, page 132. There's a lot on here. This is actually talking about guilt. So this chapter of the book, uh, it talks about guilt, how not to put extra, the extra weight of guilt on yourself and how to develop a healthy relationship with guilt, realizing that you don't own guilt and that you don't have to allow guilt to you know, stop you from your life. So here's what I, I got here. There's five different bullet points. We'll just go with the very first one. And the very first one is to realize and accept that you do not have to own the guilt. It's not your responsibility. The second one is you feel guilt sometimes because you outgrew people, but that's a normal process that occurs in life. And you should look at growth as a positive experience, not a negative one. So in one of the previous videos, I was talking about how you go through a spiritual awakening and then you outgrow some of your friends, maybe even your family. And there's like a kind of like a survivor's guilt where you feel like, man, I wish these other people could be at my level. I wish they could see where I'm at. Or I wish they could see what I'm doing. It kind of feels like that. Before you got there, other people have already outgrown you and somebody's going to outgrow you in your life. Like. The idea of, hey, we outgrow each other is, to me, it's a, it's a common thing that we all experience. So sometimes when you outgrow people, you just, you know, you just, you just keep moving forward, man. You know, you don't have to own the guilt. And the other one here, now, this may sound harsh to some people, but it just, I, I deal in reality. You know, I, this book is about reality. You know, I got a novel coming out soon that's about fantasy and there'll be some fantastic fantasies in there but in here we have to deal with reality because we got to keep ourselves grounded and true so i would love for you to get comment below and let me know what you think it's okay if you disagree with me you don't have to disagree we don't have to agree or disagree we can just share our thoughts and, and collectively grow so tell me what you think it says life has always been and will always be the survival of the fittest those who grow who adapt who get stronger and wiser and who adjust their behaviors are the ones who will continue to live happily. If other human beings consciously choose not to evolve, don't feel like it's your fault they didn't or don't make it feel like it's your responsibility to make them. And that, I mean, for me, that's something that I truly believe in. Life is survival of the fittest. I feel like it always has been when you look at history, when you look at the present, and when you look at the future. We are organisms trying to survive. And there's different tactics, you know? There's different tactics to survive. But I feel like if I'm working on myself and I'm trying to get my mind right, my soul right, my financial right, my family right, I just feel like if I'm working on myself, to me, I'm trying to survive. I'm trying to do the best that I can. And if other people, or not, what am I supposed to do? So I would love to get your feedback, your thoughts. That was a page from my care package book. I wanna get your thoughts. I know a lot of you have already read the book, so I would love to see what you think about uh, that, that section right there. Comment below.